Ten Black Dots by Donald Cruz. One, two, three, four. And over here there are some more. I am not going to start back at one. I'm going to count on. I know there were four over here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you see how I did not go back to one? I used counting on because I knew there were four dots over here and that didn't change. And I know that the next number is five. So when I started counting again on the zero, I started at five. Did you see how I put one of my fingers down when I said one and I just left it there and counted around? I did that because I wanted to make sure I didn't count that one twice. It's good to be a careful counter. 10 Black Dots by Donald Cruz. What can you do with 10 black dots? One dot can make the, a sun or a moon when day is done. I heard a rhyme, did you? Sun, done. So it's a counting book and a rhyming book. Two dots can make the eyes of a fox or the eyes of keys that open locks. Three dots can make a snowman's face or beads for stringing on a lace. Four dots can make seeds from which flowers grow or the knobs on a radio. Five dots can make buttons on a coat or the portholes of a boat. Six dots can make marbles that you hold. Half are new, the rest are old. So we have the three over here and three more over here. So I could say three, four, five, six. Counting on is a great strategy. Seven dots can make the spots on a snake or stones turned up by a garden rake. Eight dots can make the wheels of a train carrying freight through sun and rain. So I see four over here. I could say five, six, seven, eight. Counting on makes counting easier. Nine dots can make toy soldiers standing in rank or the pennies in your piggy bank. Ten dots can make balloons stuck in a tree. Shake that branch and set them free. Count them. Are there really ten? Let's see. That was the one. Here are the two. One more makes three. See, there's the two. I could line them up, and I know these two and these two, they match. But this number is greater, bigger, because it's got one extra that doesn't match. One more than two is three. How do I know? Because it's the next number. One more is always the next number. Here's three. I could match those up with these three because four is made out of three and one more. Here are the four. I could match those up with these four, but there's still one more because one more than four is five. So five is greater than four. It's a bigger number. Five is made out of four plus one. Here are the six. 
There's one, two, three, four, five, and one more makes six. Here are the five. We know that there's five because I counted them. One, two, three, four, five, and look, they all match. There's the ones, the twos, the threes, the fours, and the five. So I could say five, six, seven. I could say five, six, seven, eight. I could say five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's that counting on. It does make counting easier. I don't always have to start back at one. I could say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yes, we counted them. We are sure there are really ten. Now we can begin counting again, counting dots from one to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten.